going on you guys I'd like to welcome y'all to another one take review and today i am reviewing team titans the judas contract oh listen man for me i know a lot of people have problems with like dc's like live action films you know on the big screen but their animated films they can't do no wrong for me dog like every single time I see them, I love them. I love this one. I love the one before this one. I love the one before that one, and I love the one before that one. I just love DC animated films. I love the, the you know the cinematic films too. That's just me. I probably don't people probably gonna start watching right after I said that. But uh, like this was another good one. Like you had uh, Starfire, Raven. Nightwing, Robin, the Damian Wayne Robin, I love that Robin, uh, Blue Beetle, Beast Boy, and Terror, you know, somebody new, and we have, like, villains, uh, we had Brother Blood, and we see Slade Wilson again, Deathstroke, who is one of my favorite villains, just in general, because I love how they play him in this, uh, in this animated universe, uh, how he ties into things with uh, Damian Wayne, how he wants his revenge on him, and I just love that whole aspect of the whole thing. Whew, I got in, got in kind of deep there because, like, like I said, I pretty much enjoyed this. You know, this movie is uh, it's a pretty simple movie. It like, has more to uh, do with the infiltration of terror, getting into the Titans. And uh, you see, the first thing you probably you truly see is, like, five years ago when they first uh, seen Starfire and, and the connection with uh, her connection with Dick Grayson. Dick Grayson's robbing, you know, when he was still robbing. And the, the first time they uh, met, that, that early connection they had, which later led to them, you know, him asking her in this movie to move in. So they've been dating for a while now. You know, they have a few, like, <laughs> have a few sex jokes in there. It was pretty funny to me. Uh, and, you know, the whole crew looks up to them. Starfire feeling as though the crew still looks up to uh, Nightwing more than they look up to her because they, come, they go to him for uh, more of, you know, advice than her because he still seems like more of the leader than she is. Which you have that going on. Like I said, you have the uh, whole thing with Tara. She she pretty much hates Beast Boy. Well, that's what she shows. She hates Beast Boy. And uh, Blue Beetle, who can't see his parents or his family again because of like, the Beetle. And, you know, it's been two years since he's seen them. Uh, Raven, who still has her damn father stuck in her damn head, basically. <laughs> who uh, Who's basically pretty much constantly seeing what she's doing and talking to her. And then you just have Damien Wayne, who is the savage. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty much always my favorite part of these things. Whenever he's on, it's like, I don't know, it's just like he demands the screen whenever he's there in his presence. It's always felt because, like, he always have, like, a serious tone about him. Like, he, he's, he's like Batman. But, you know, more. I think he's actually more savage than Batman. He's the killing... Uh, he thinks uh, strategic about everything. He doesn't really look towards his emotion when he's making decisions. And, like, he even says in the movie, like, your emotion is going to get somebody killed. Uh, and it's, it's just a good, good movie. Uh, we have Brother Blood who's trying to, uh, who's hired Slade to, like, capture the Titans. And, uh, which is Slade's working with Tara because he saved Tara's life when she was younger. And she's practically in love with Slade. She's thinking, it all. Once we get the Titans, we gonna run off. We gonna live happily ever after. And she even tries to give it up to him, you know, a few times. With uh, <laughs> she even refers like, oh, he hasn't tried to do anything to me yet. And she puts on makeup and tries to give it up to him. He tells her like, wait, slow down, baby. We gonna wait till we get this business out the way. Let me get this money first, and me and you gonna be straight. But ultimately, that never happens because he turns on her like we pretty much knew he would. Uh, and gives over for uh, he gave over for a pretty penny dog. 200 million like 200 million like what is Slade doing with that like he's a hired assassin but what is he doing with this damn money he just listen I'm pretty sure that's not the first job he's done he's got some money but he, he got paid 200 M's dog do you know what I could do with half, a quarter, a percentage, one percent of that? Y'all probably know what one percent of that is. I tell you, 
to me. I messed up. But, uh, is that the point? Is that the point? No, I'm right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right. I'm tripping. I, uh, it's my bad. I'm great at math, at math in school. What the hell am I talking about? I can't question my damn self. But, yeah, you got 200 mil. 200 mil? Bruh, you straight. What is you doing? Get out the streets. <laughs> get get your money and get out. He's like a bad damn drug dealer who don't know when to quit. Get your damn money and get out. He's trying to be rich forever. 200 million, you good. But okay, that's that's not the point. But yeah, he turns over for a pretty penny. And Brother Blood becomes like this unstoppable freaking dude with everybody's powers and abilities, except for Dick Grayson, but he pretty much didn't need because he had uh, Robbins, who's pretty much, like, in my opinion, a better fighter. Uh, that was my shit, by the way. Uh, you got Starfire Pilots, Blue Beaters, uh, Terrors, Ravens. Uh, who am I missing? I find Starfire, Blue Beaters. Well, but he has all the Titans power in, in this movie. And he turns into like this freakishly looking dude who like has like different... Like looks everywhere on him, which is yeah, it's cool, you know. I I, I dig it, you know, because uh, it shows he has their power. And, and another thing that was crazy, uh, I, I never I never really understood. Like Tara seemed like she just hated everybody just because, like you know, she's been there a year and it's like she just still has connected with anybody and just ah. I hate you guys. I, I hate Raven because she's creepy. I hate Beach Boy because he's annoying. I hate uh, Blue Beetle just, you know. I hate Robin because, you know, you think you are. I hate Starfire because she's the pretty girl. Who's, I mean, she Her motives for not liking them were, were a piece of shit, to be honest. Like, uh, she could have gave him a chance. And she actually did give him a chance. You know, she actually gave Beast Boy. Her, her and Beast Boy had actually two romantic kisses. And he went in for the third one. But she's like, damn, dude. Calm down. Beast Boy act like he has never kissed nobody in day in his life. Because he is running around the beach flipping into every kind of animal as possible. He is very, very excited. He, he just kissed a girl. He is super happy. Even though the same girl almost killed him during the training exhibition when she had a flashback and take her back to her past where people were pretty much about to kill her. But she was slayed by Slade who cut a guy's head off, which was a dope-ass part of this movie. Uh, <laughs> Slade was a dope part of this movie. Brother Blood was pretty cool. Brother Blood's assistant, that's who was damn savage. She didn't hesitate to shoot nobody. And like when she shot him, it was like that. Like... Give somebody a warning. And you know something? You know what else I love this movie? I'm a Kevin Smith fan. They, had, they gave Kevin Smith a shout out. Not only did they give him a shout out, they brought Kevin, an uh, animated Kevin Smith into the movie and they brought Beast Boy on his podcast. I said, yeah, like, like Kevin represents what I, not necessarily what I want to be because he's a fat white guy, I'm a fat black guy, but. Maybe I'm, I'm probably more close to Mark Bernard, but I'm like 6'4", Mark Bernard, sure as hell. But this, <laughs> this is what it got me at. What, you know, the whole Kevin Smith thing gives me because now he's an older guy who, who still keeps his childhood and keeps, like, the, the kid memories. And that's what I got to think that's kind of pretty much how I want to be when I get older, you know. I mean, like, I think he said, like, you can, uh, you can grow up, but you don't have to grow old. Or some, or the other way around, but I pretty much know, know what it meant. I pretty much take that in life. But yeah, they shout out to him. They put him in a, a DC animated film. I know they're scared about that. I'm gonna be in one one day, just doing something. I don't know. Maybe I would be the guy who, who uh, I don't know. I can deliver a damn piece, and uh, that'd be cool with me. And get robbed, then I can save by some heroes. That'd be great. Uh, or maybe they'd be on my YouTube channel. Who the hell knows? But yeah, that's another story for another day. This movie was good. I love the whole love interest between uh, Nightwing and Starfire. The whole thing with Raven can, can connect to Terra more. And it actually had a scene in here where Damien was caring and, and pretty much, you know, gave Rant gave Terra throughout the game. Like, yo, the Slade just playing you, bro. I'm telling you, he's just playing you. Once you, you're going to see. And, you know, ultimately he did. And she woke up and she woke up. 
pissed and she was she was trying to get out to his ass, kill the shit out the slave. Even though I don't know if she necessarily killed him. I don't wanna say she did, you know, in these in these films nobody truly truly died. So the killing joke joke gets dead. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Brother Blood was in and brother another a few scenes I a few fight scenes that got me was uh Damien and uh or Robin and Nightwing versus Slade. I feel like they should have been able to whoop his ass easily. Well just one on one. We had a fight between one on one between Slade and Nightwing, which pretty much was one sided and it seemed like uh, and Slade actually told Nightwing like yeah, you pretty much overrated, which was like a dope shot at like Nightwing. I'm like uh, he pretty much got you there. And then we also have, like, uh, we've seen with Damien fighting Slate, which I've seen them fight a few times. And I'm pretty much, Damien pretty much go, you know what I'm saying, take for take with him. But the two of them together should have been able to take down with the, you know, it did. But also you have the, the sequence with uh, Beast Boy and Blue Beetle versus uh, Brother Blood, which was super dope. Uh, Brother Blood trying to monologue. He gets ran over by Terrence Rock. <laughs> And then it goes left for him after that. He's still trying to monologue. They is tag teaming his ass. Uh, Blue Beetle and Beast Boy are hitting him with combination. They are completely in sync. They are knocking this dude left and right, up, down. Beast Boy, the way Beast Boy used his, uh, his animal powers in the move are pretty much phenomenal. I like how he used them. He used them very well. Um, and then Raven pretty much finish, finishes the job off, you know. Like a Raven Powers, you know, and go from purple to red, and he goes like into a, a weak state, and he thought like, oh man, I've been waiting for centuries for this moment, you know, and they about to take him to jail, and there goes that savage. Nope, not Slade, his assistant. I don't remember her name. I might need to go back and look at her name, and see what kind of big other parts she played uh, in, in other anything else. But when I tell you, she had no remorse. No feelings. When she pulled a gun out, somebody got shot. And they died. Because they getting ready to get him. And she shoots clean through this dude's chest. And I was like, damn. Really? She like, oh, no, they not taking you, honey. And then, you know, the uh, the building collapsed on them or whatever. I'm just like, bro, this, 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 this chick don't, this chick ain't no joke. She, she you know, she, she going for the gusto. And I, like I said, man, I love the DC animated films. They they do it right every time. I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping. Uh, I think a, a lot of people have like speculation they might not do a lot of these DC films that have slated, like Cyborg and Flash. I hope you see all those. But I also hope during the Cyborg uh, film that it's open for the uh, Teen Titans, bro. Because listen, we got, think, ch ch check me out, people. We got a Batman, we got a Nightwing, we got a Batgirl. Like, I wouldn't be mad if they just did a, a Robin. Like, you know? A, a Damian Wayne Robin. Like, that would be cool. They And they can do that in the solo Batman film. They can bring him. If they want If they want to still use Deathstroke, they can do use that same story in the, in the sense. And bring Damian Wayne and, and have him connect with Cyborg and bring in Beast Boy, Starfire, Raven, and that all be in Cyborg's movie. And then that's sort of like sort of like the intro of Dawn of uh Dawn of Justice. I mean Dawn of Justice, you know, Batman vs. Superman was like an intro to that. Sort of kinda do it with that, but I I ultimately want the cyborg film to end up leading to like a Teen Titans film. That's just me, man. I, I want to see Teen Titans brought to live action. We're getting all these other live action real. Give us Teen Titans. Give it to us right with the Damian Wayne. Get the get the Damian Wayne and make it do do the Batman. That you know that that uh that story. I forgot the name of the damn story. The son of Batman. That's it. Do that story. Make it rated at all. Make a show where you got a young Damian Wayne killing motherfuckers. Take my damn money. Then you can show him the scene where he God is out, uh, or he can stab Slade in the eye, and that's why Slade gets. <sighs> Take my money. I don't even got any. I go sell some damn clothes so I can give you some more money. Do that.
do that and damn it, we got a fam. But yeah, I still, I want to see Teen Titans brought to live action. But you got to have the Damian Wayne as Robin. I don't want no other Robin. Give me Damian Wayne as Robin. Uh, Jason, uh, Jason Ty is dead. Uh, Dick Grayson is out there. Jason Dodd. Robin's dead. Just know Robin's dead already in this universe, and we have a Nightwing. Give us Damian Wayne and the make it rated R. With the, this was this was supposed to be about the Judas contract, but I just really, I, I got it completely off into some other shit. But give us that, please. You guys leave a comment what you think we should have. How did you, how did you guys enjoy the film? Uh, links to all of my other social media outlets are in the description below. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe. I really appreciate that. And thanks you guys for watching. Come back next time as I give you guys more content on nerdy shit.